Skylark SMP. We got a couple people here uh, on my video. You can see how awesome people. Uh, we're going to introduce everybody and let's start with Pillar of Nothing. Oh, yay. Hi. Um, I'm Pillar. Hi, Pillar. Hi, Pillar. Hi, Pillar. I'm I'm Morg. I'm one of the um, builders. Um, I'm also not streaming. Um, I just build stuff. Hi everybody. I'm Brew, and I'm a gameaholic. <laughs> <laughs> You all met me already. I'm DSA! Hi! Hi, I'm, I'm Evil, and um, I have lots of kelp, and I felt Okay, thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Owl. She's amazing at map building, and just an amazing human being. And makes cool logic puzzles. That true. Yep. Let's go. I'm FJ. I am one of the ones streaming and recording. And, uh, I build stuff. Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Amy. I stream on Twitch every Sunday morning. Nice to meet you all, and I look forward to playing with you this season. Hi. I'm Jarak. I, I collect things so more drink can build things. I'm Woody. I'm new to streaming, so I'll be streaming on here. I do not do videos. Hi everyone. I'm Lee, and I don't know where this is going to go, but it will end up somewhere on the internet, and you might see it, and you might not. But, <laughs> but Minecraft. Hi everybody. I'm Momcrafter, and I don't stream. I sometimes make videos. So nice to meet you all. I'm History Wes, you can call me Wes, and yeah. <laughs> okay, I think that's everybody. Um, Ready, break, run, 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 Don't forget to sign your contracts at the ESA Corp. Hello, my name is History Wes, and here I am on a new server, the Skylark SMP. This is a survival multiplayer game set up by some friends of mine. I had not planned on joining an SMP anytime in uh, the immediate future, but uh, there's so many great people on this server. People I know from the Greenhouse SMP, people I know from way back on the Wells Knight Patreon server, seasons three and four, and uh, it's just a great group, and I'm really looking forward to playing. And the first thing we are doing is going to uh, the location I have picked out as my base, which is in a birch forest. There's a single continent that we're playing on and a few surrounding islands, all within 10,000 blocks of our spawn location. And that is so that area beyond that will be available for uh, 1.18 when it comes out. And here we have come across a uh, portal, a ruined portal. I don't have any uh, tools that I could get that gold block at the top there with, but uh, uh, here's some cool stuff. Fire charge and some gold tools. Gold tools are always a little weird because I'm not sure what to do with them. I don't think they'll save you from piglin attack just carrying them around. I mean, I think you need to be wearing gold armor, but we'll give it a try. And now we'll work on moving overland for a little bit. Now I'm making my way through a shattered savanna area, and that means I'm close to home because uh, there's a shattered savanna on either side of my birch forest and uh, uh, 
I'm looking around because you never know what's going to appear up on these tops of these uh, Savannah Hills, but uh, also don't want to go into a lot of shadowy areas because uh, as you can see all my tools except for the gold ones I picked up a little while ago are still wood wood tools so not the best in the past I have uh, always started around the spawn location built up a little bit uh, equipment and tools but I decided this time I would shoot right over toward my base and there's uh, birch forest uh, and uh, that way as I was excavating coal and stone and hopefully iron I would also be gathering building materials for building my house this coal will come in handy okay so here we are in the birch forest and my location I picked out for my house is right on the top of a hill. And in case you're wondering how I know the locations, I uh, used a midst and uh, also built a uh, replica world so I could get a idea. And I believe I'm standing right on the place where my house is going to be. And that means right over here, a stone throw away over this little hill, there should be a village at the edge of the desert. And there it is. Of course, that means there's some farm goods here and a lot of hay but most important are the villagers um, want to secure them make sure they are not hurt or lost and there's a blacksmith here hey my first iron tools and armor Break that so there's I got it. I take that grindstone. Okay, hay bales, one of the greatest things you can pick up because uh, you can convert those into bread super easy. And uh, you can use it for uh, your own food if you need it, but uh, better to make bread, uh, stacks of bread that you can then feed your villagers and get them to breed. I go ahead and take that bell. Certain farm designs uh, can be enhanced with a bell. I'm not sure if I'm going to be building those or not. This uh, SMP, Skylark SMP is a cooperative SMP. We'll be building um, uh, farms and things that others can share. This is uh, uh, the way that everyone wanted to play. Okay, here we're going to lock this guy in. Our theme is birds of a feather flock together, so that's kind of got a double meaning. Uh, one that we're kind of stuck together close by. Um, and number two, uh, that we're going to be helping each other out. Or at least that's the way I'm reading it. We have uh, several great moderators. Uh, DSA Girl and uh, Mar and uh, Graceful Usagi, who is, uh, I don't know what the correct term is anymore, but the, we used to call the person running the server a sysop, but uh, I think that term has gone out of fashion.
Okay, so I got my first villager here marked. And that's good. I just gotta get the others. Okay, the villagers are all secured. Now I'm climbing back up to uh, the top of my little hill here. One of the things that I like about this hill is it's not that easy for mobs to get up here. So I just set up my temporary base here. I got my chest so I can put stuff in. I got my bed. Off of that little hole and they can't get at me on the, from the front. And it's time to uh, sleep. So the first thing I'm going to do is flatten this top out a little bit and uh, remove these trees on the top. And you can see because we've got so many people on the server, there's quite a bit of uh, lag, a little rubber banding going on. I expect that that will lessen as uh, uh, our server operator makes some fine-tuning and uh, we have fewer people on all at once. Okay, got the trees removed. Now just smoothen this out a little bit. I'm not going to build a mega base, at least uh, at this point in the server. I want to build a, uh, a nice starter house here on top, and then there are going to be uh, some fairly extensive mine works and uh, other um, things going on underneath the ground. But if I do a mega base, it's probably not going to be until um, after 1.18 comes out. One of the reasons why is because there'll be many more resources available at uh, that time. Plus, I want to be able to play in the new terrain and take advantage of all the new 1.18 features. There we go. That looks like it's plenty big for our uh, for our house. Just chop that up a little bit, make that a little more difficult for our mobs to climb up. There we go. As soon as I have the opportunity, of course, I'll light this whole area up. Okay, I've dug a mine going down right in the center of my build area. Um, and I've got some, uh, dug some cobblestone out with there. Uh, you probably know and have heard many times that it's not a good idea to dig straight down in Minecraft, but having uh, created a copy of this world and used some um, spectator mode, I know that there was no lava directly down me below me until I got uh, fairly far along. So I wasn't too worried about that. Also, you know, digging down is, is uh, actually there's a fairly relatively sh small chance you're going to drop into lava, but you know, if you've got a bunch of good armor and stuff, it's not worth it. I have nothing <laughs> worthwhile. Uh, so the most I would lose would be my uh, iron boots and, and helmet. Guru was slain by a zombie. I've been seeing death notices all over the place. Uh, I have not died. That may be because I'm overly cautious, but like I said, I did, did, I did dig straight down. So. 
maybe I'm not all that conscious after all. So here's where my house is going to be. Get some more wood. There we go. We got a floor. Okay, I've taken a break from working on the house, and I am down in the mine below. And I apologize for all the information that I get up on the screen, but I am tunneling to an exact location, and it's very important I'm precise. I'll be using these mines for digging out resources later, but uh, right now I have another plan. And speaking of resources, there's some iron and plenty of coal. Hit that right now. Let me zip forward here a little bit uh, until we get where we're I'm planning to go. Okay, I'm uh, tunneling along and I break into a cave. Now, first of all, I have no real gear on me. I have no armor except an iron helmet and an iron. Uh, pair of iron boots. I really don't feel like caving at this point, but I need to get past here, so I'm just going to create a little temporary tunnel by blocking in the sides. And uh, if I can do this quick enough before mo more mobs approach. I'll be good because I can hear mobs around. Ah, there's another creeper. Yeah, I can't get him to blow up unless I'm close enough. There you go. Close enough to take damage. Okay, I'll come back at a later time or date and uh, explore this cave. Alright, I'm almost where I need to go. You can see I'm still having a little rubber banding, a little lag. Not too bad. actually gone a little bit further than I need. This is exactly it right here. Okay. Of course they say you should never dig it straight up either, but I'm not that far from the surface. Although I'm maybe a little farther than I originally thought I was. There we go. That's Sandstone. And here we are. We are inside of one of the huts in the little village. And let's get up here and push our friend in the hole. There we are. And we'll take this uh, cartographer's table. Nice. Okay, now we just have to dig down without hitting our villager. And we're back to our 
tunnel. Block this up. I don't need anything falling in. Nice. Now, of course, our villager does not want to follow us. And I thought about using the water streams. If I had all the villagers in one place, that's what I'd do, but uh, that would take way too long. But if I just put this down, he will come to his workstation. And I really need an axe. Okay, down here. Nope, don't go away, villager. Come back. That's right. Take your own sweet time about it, too. Don't hurry. We'll go right down to the end of the hallway. I uh, should have done it one block before so I could see him coming, but I'm pretty sure he's going to come. Nice. So we are more than halfway. Over here. And there are four villagers in that village. And once I get them all moved in, I've got their locations marked map wise. So once I get them all in to this area, I can uh, get them all to breed. Because, man, all you need are bre uh, bread and beds, and you just can't keep them from making more villagers. It's one of the greatest things to happen to Minecraft. 114. The changes to villagers. I love it. All right. Now we just block this area off, and we are in our new. villager room and I don't want you to jump over the fence okay great job well that's all our time today on the Skylark SMP please join us again for the next step in our uh, exploration and uh, exploitation of this new world. Uh, as soon as I have the um, information on the other players and their episodes, I will have them located in the comments below. Thanks very much for joining me, and as always, keep on Minecrafting.